Ladies and gentlemen, he's on the morning. No Rosenberg. It's election day. He's on assignment, getting geared up for something he's doing with Complex tonight. That's right. Uh, covering the whole election thing. But we had to uh, bring this brother up here. Kofi Sirabo. You may know him from Queen Sugar. You may know him from the Kicks movie. We're going to talk about this sex scene he going to have with Jada. Oh, <laughs> man. It's going down. <laughs> Yo, give it up for Kofi. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank Yo, what, what, what fabric is that you're wearing today? Man, sir? I can't this even is... tell you. It was just fly, so. You're from Ghana, so that's some yeah. uh, rights of passage yeah, like African. Yeah, the you tribal, know what I'm you know tribal what I'm saying? Look, deep you know what colors. Mean? Yeah. I think absolutely. didn't did, weren't you voted like man of style? Yeah. For like in style magazine. Style. So you know he had to come in sharp. Oh, yeah. sharp. So you you said you're not hip to that. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not <laughs> hip to the in style, but apparently uh you uh the ladies love you, bro. Man. Like it's a it's and a I love thing, them too. thing. See? Serious. Look at him, look at yes, him, look I at can. him. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm not lying. And and because Rosenberg's on assignment, we had Scotty Beam sit in today. Hola. How are you, Scott? I'm good. You watch Queen Sugar. Yes, yeah. I do. I enjoy it. Yeah. You get on my nerves, but <laughs> well, I enjoy I it. You're just very hard headed. Very hard headed and stubborn, but I enjoy it. You know, um, I do enjoy you spending so much time with your son. Yeah. And you being a real father. Yeah. You know, I do I love that um they give people that imagery. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Dope. I think so. that's the biggest thing about it. It's like we get to see both mm-hmm. sides. Like if we paint like the perfect character and mm-hmm. some some shows villainize characters, but I think that's why we love the show so much. It's like, it's so human. It's right, so it real, is. you know. So, it really is. Yeah. yeah, and he, um, well, your character, um, Raphael Angel. Ralph Angel. Ralph Angel, yeah. I never, that name is yeah, special. Yeah, I know. As Ralph soon as I Angel. saw it, I was like, wow. That sounds like a superhero. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's a very Ralph special Angel name. Board alone. <laughs> yeah, um, but you also are dealing with a baby mother who's a former addict, no? Yeah, shout out to Bianca. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's um, it was really good seeing that too and how he dealt with it. It's very hard to deal with, you know, somebody who mm-hmm. you love being an and addict. And it's so cool seeing how it's progressing right. throughout the season and it keeps building. There's so much, like, cool stuff coming mm-hmm. up. What episode are you on? Last week. Okay. So 10 is this week. 10, yeah. this is a good episode. So, yeah, yeah. I, have, I haven't checked. I mean, any, it's not out. Any spoilers you want to give us right now? Queen Sugar, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Or you haven't even seen it? Nah. You haven't seen the final no, I've edit. seen it. I've seen it all. I've oh, seen okay. it all. But, but no, I don't. I can't say anything because I'll give it all away. Has and, it been renewed for another season? Yeah, we got picked up for oh, a second season. That's awesome. And how, that. how is it working with Ava DuVernay? Yeah, Amazing. How like, is he it just, working with Ava DuVernay? <laughs> that's his pride. <laughs> that is his pride. Listen, I approved this interview just yes, for that. okay. This is the only reason you up here. Queen Sugar <laughs> shout. You know, uh, uh, that's on OWN, oh, right? trying to get in the good books with Ava. Ava. Okay. Let's talk about he loves Ava. Ava DuVernay. I mean, we discussed it behind the scenes, but I'm telling you, we haven't had the pleasure of having Ava DuVernay in yeah. studio only on the phone. And every time we get her on the phone... This one slides a little, a little sideways <laughs> comment like at the beginning, kid. the middle, or the end. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Talk to me about I mean, working she's, with she's everything Ava that Ebro is obviously in love with. She's just, she really is that I mean, she's amazing. She's amazing. She's just on a professional side. She really gets things done. She knows what she wants. She goes about it in such a like graceful but very intentional way. And then she has a swag about it. Like she, a lot of people, you know, squares like in, in the street. You hugged her? Oh my <laughs> yeah, gosh. Of course. Eve. I hug her all the time. That's why I can't All the no, hugs. No, you cannot. Why? Tell I me give why. her hugs all the time. All the, every all the day? time. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> and she smells good, right? She, she smells, smells great. And yeah. her locks. Because like, I knew, I knew that was the next question. That's why I asked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She smells, she like, smells like, like vanilla and hard work and success. <laughs> vanilla and hard work. That's a combination. I know. I lay with that What about Oprah? What about Oprah? She's amazing too. She's you hugged Oprah? Oh man, all day. <laughs> I heard she gives the best hugs. She does. Imagine. Yeah. I give the best hugs too, though. Really? Don't you yeah. listen? One thing you probably don't want to do is compare your hugs to Oprah hugs. Right? <laughs> <laughs> not on this program, not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> nah, she how, does. How she does. involved is Oprah? Like, do you see her alive? Yeah, she's actually very involved, and I think she just does that by choice. She doesn't have to be. Right. But she's really, really like she. she we watched the entire series on her uh, private jet to New York. Um, and, and this was to support <laughs> Ava at the 13th um, premiere for, right. for her new film. And you should have seen us all just crying, tissues, just literally just talking about. And we would take breaks in between because we were literally so, like, we had to split it up. And she was, she's so involved. Like, she cares so much, which it's is crazy. So it's crazy. And she, and it's like her, it's like a pet project. Too. It's like a Back baby. to these hugs with Ava, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is she a hugger? She's a hugger. She's a hugger. Like, because, you know, some people's a handshaker. Yeah, some yeah, yeah. people's like a, is it a two-arm hug or a pat on it the depends, back? It depends. It depends. I, I mean, I what get What kind hugs. of hug you get? Yeah, I get Two hugs. Hugs. I get the two All hugs. the way in. All the way in. With a, with a back rub? 
Ah, oh, see, now you're trying to get me caught up. <laughs> now you're trying to get me, trying to get me fired out from season two. <laughs> now, but what, wait, when you go back to work for season two, when do y'all start taping? Uh, February, March. They're going to use this against you, this conversation. Oh, now okay. HR is going to be watching okay, you and see if you hug me. too they long. They always watch me. Wow, what you doing on set? I'm just, the, I'm just that you're guy. Flirt. Yeah, you're I'm flirt. that guy. Yeah, you got to watch me. You got to watch me. Everybody should watch me. Oh, God. Damn, oh, God. a self-proclaimed creep. At least he owns it. I ain't say nothing about being a creep. I said, watch me. <laughs> um, I was um speaking of your role as a dad. You know, there's a film. I don't know how many people out here have seen it. Um, I love the film. It's called Kicks. Um, and you think it's a sneaker film. Um, but it's it, and it is. Mm -hmm. But it's really a film about a young man's relationship with getting fly, mm -hmm. and you know, living in certain um, you know, uh, neighborhoods and and upbringings where. Just the desire to want to be fly and meet girls could get you caught up in a whole right. bunch of other shit, and then yeah. test your manhood, and right, then et cetera, right, et cetera. Right, right. And you play a villain in in Kicks, um, but still a father, mm -hmm. you know, nonetheless, uh, and a father who recently had just got out of doing some time, and right. and was and, and basically, because of the time that you was doing, you was still you stole Kicks just to make your son feel fly. Right. You stole him from another kid, right. and beat that, whipped that kid's right, ass. Right. Right. Um, but it's just an interesting story. Um, talk about, um, you know, you being cast as, you know, this father role multiple time and young father role. Like, how is that coming up so often? And mm -hmm. is there is that just for us as fans and people who consume this product mm -hmm. um, a nod to the fact that we want to make sure that there's images of young black fathers trying to Absolutely. trying to do something with their Absolutely. sons and kids? Absolutely. I feel like personally, I've always said, oh, I want kids young. And it was always like a joke. But like, as I got older, I just started to realize how much I really appreciated kids and just how pure they were. So I feel like that's kind of just like, it, it moved into my work. And, and naturally I started doing these roles where I was always playing a, a protector or, or a guider and, and some type of like, you know, little kid was was being my little soldier. So it, it started with kicks before, before Queen Sugar. I think that's where the seed was planted. And, um, you know, prior to shooting the film, it wasn't even about him being my son. It could have been my little brother or my son. We never actually, you the know, facts. we facts never said what, yeah, we never yeah. said what, who, who he is to me, but that's the role I played. And that was the whole, that, that's just something I think we need to see more. It's not the stereotype of, oh, you know, our, our, our fathers don't love or they're not like, you know, sweet and drunk. Flacco was crazy, you know, but he still loved Jay. Mm -hmm. Everything he did was for, and ultimately even this, the choice he made at the end of the film was still based off of what he was what he was trying to set for for Jay. What example he was trying to set. So I feel like between Flacco and then Ralph Angel, Ralph Angel's not perfect either. Not at all. But great. He loved yes. his son. Great bond. So much, and that's all. So you you don't have to be perfect to be a good lover. You know, being a good lover is being a good lover. I feel like we try and like you know, it, it's like it's either or. And then people like have that. It, you just have to just just focus on that. You um grew up in a home, mother and father Absolutely. in the home, and they're still married. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. from West Africa, from Ghana. Yeah. Right? yeah um, yeah. how long have they been in the country? Um, that's a good question. I know my mom came out here um for college, so it's probably been I don't want to age. <laughs> yeah. Uh, twenty twenty years or so, but my dad that same thing. It's been about like twenty plus years. Um, obviously. And you grew up in L.A. Yeah, I grew up in L.A. So um. It, it, it's I'm first generation. I think just that that background, just knowing that there was like another play, like America wasn't the, like that's not where it ends, and there's mm -hmm. a whole nother world of culture and people who look. Does just that like help a, you? Absolutely. Has that helped you? Because I absolutely. know a lot of black people don't ha don't have that. Like absolutely. We, we know our uh, history to a plantation. Maybe you right. might you might right. know vaguely. Right. I mean, right. obviously, right. most of us are from right. West Africa, right. right? Our ancestors are because that's where many of the slaves came from, and even Caribbean people as well. I mean, to keep it a hundred, even though I'm from Ghana. You know how hard it is to go back. I have a family of five. It's not a, a, a trip to Vegas. It costs a lot yeah. of money, and at any given time, who has that? Like we're like you're talking ten grand in flights. I'm, hello, and then stay, and then this, and then right. it's like, why do I want to just go visit my my country for three days? You want to go visit? Yeah, you want to. So stay. it's like that. I've worked my whole life to get to this place to where I could actually go back home wow. the way I want to go back home with my entire family and then come with the love that I want to come with. Right. It can't just, it, I ne it, it, it never happened because it couldn't happen the way we wanted it to happen. My dad went back for his dad's funeral. I never got to meet my grandfather. Right. My, 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 I, I, that's, that's. So there is a disconnect there's still. A, that's, and, right. I, and I know where I'm from and there's right. still a disconnect. That shows you how hard it is even just up here 
hear, you know? Yeah. If we actually, like, put in the work and spread that word, and even people like myself lead by example, I go and bridge the gap. All of us need to be going to Ghana. Mm -hmm. Everybody. We all need to just Ghana, be in Nigeria, Africa, Nigeria, Senegal, Nigeria Senegal, South Africa, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. It shouldn't be like, oh, I'm just... People going to Europe before they go to, to Africa. Facts. How much in your... From knowing your parents and having relatives there, um, I hear just wonderful things about Ghana, about Nigeria, about Senegal, about South Africa. South Africa. Even despite all of the country's issues, look here in America, we have our own issues. You right. go to parts of America, it looks like a third world country, and we try to act like everything is right. all good. And we got people right. starving, living right. in poverty right. right here in America, and we try to gloss it over and make sure it looks all good. And right. then when you bring up going to Africa, people go, Ugh. right, because like, it's. So how much of that propaganda when you see it and hear even black people say, right. oh, I'm not African, they don't fuck with me. How how do you, you laugh, but you've heard that. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's ignorance. And it's, and it's just. How it, how not true is it? It's absolutely, I mean, it's just like anywhere. There's, there's, there's duality to any place. So it's like for us to only hyper-focus on one side of a country that we haven't, that's like focusing on the negative of a person. You, that's not love, you know what I'm saying? You haven't even tried to receive, you, there's, and that's what I mean by we have to break that that concept by spreading information, awareness. Like, just once you see the photos of the beaches, I myself, again, I can't even speak from, I don't know. I didn't know, now I know, and now that's why I'm so hungry to go back. It's it's because you, it's, it's lack of information. You don't see it, and yeah. then the media is not going to show you. All they tell you, oh, the starving kids, the rebel soldiers, like, there's a whole world out there of culture and fashion and music and food and, and life, and we don't even see it. Talk Even their musicians, like yeah. that's not something we hear. I But we love to to see it in the culture when Drake drops those jams, like, you know, yeah, the, the little study. And, yeah, and, and he's everybody. smart, he gets it. But, but that's a gap that needs to be bridged way more. We got to be doing way... Through film, through music, through fashion, we take their fabrics. Or the, we need to bring those designers here, give them the shot, and then we need to go there too. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. there needs to just, and that's what I love what Oprah did with her school and how she. It's important because that's our ancestors. Like that's where we come from. Come from. And yeah. I think more than ever, I think there's a want for that now, especially there with is. with we like millennials that. and the younger generation and the help of the internet. Because for a long time, think about what he said. He's like, most people just want to go to Europe. They want to go to Paris. They don't dream about well, really that's glamorized, going glamorized, glamorized through, through, through film. film. Is glamorized through yeah. film. Is glamorized through music. That's that's what we see. We don't see people going to. It's of always course. very rare, and when it is, it's like, oh my god, big deal. And then we hear a story about how some crazy shit went down. When it's crazy like, shit can happen anywhere, anywhere, you right. know. But that's the story. We went to Africa and some shit. Went, nah, what about all the amazing stuff that happened? Well, you know. Yeah. But, but I, I, you know, lead by example. Sometimes you know? though, when I have um these conversations with my African friends, he who, has told me that. You know, Nigerians don't really like African Americans. You know, I hear that a lot. And I'm like, okay, well, mm, you know, I don't know if I should go, if I make them uncomfortable. If you meet a person and you genuinely just want to get to know them and that that's all you exude, just pure love, pure reception, it's going to receive you back. That's how the universe works. It's right. synergy. You, if you go to the country and you, you go... Mm -hmm. With open, with an open mind, open heart, open soul. Of course, it's gonna receive you. So anything in between is just a, it's just a facade, and that's the facade I think we need to kill. It's like all of that. Yeah, I'm sure some Nigerians don't like you. Okay, there's <laughs> so black not, people don't like there's you. There's black too. people that don't like white you too. Man, you know there's what? White and people white people don't and like you. There's a lot of white people that don't like you too. <laughs> so it's like okay, but that doesn't mean you can't experience the right. beauty. That's for you. That's not. It's for not. Them. It's not for nothing else. Right. Um, you're uh, in an upcoming film, uh, Girls Trip. Yeah, Girl Trip. Um, when, Girl Trip. Mm -hmm. um, when, and that's Jada. Jada Pinkett, uh, Queen Latifah, Regina Hall, Tiffany Haddish, it's Lorenz me. Tate. Wait, hold on. Scotty, you would like to say what? That's what? so lit. Like, that's amazing. I cannot wait for it to come it's out. Be a, I'm so it's, excited. It's a monster, man. And it's a, the premise of the trip is four women in different types of stages of their lives yeah. in relationships that are trying to refine <laughs> their kind of joy of mm -hmm. life and friendship, and they mm -hmm. go on a trip to Essence Festival. That is, is that right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> is that right? And it gets ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> and the turn up is on. Yeah, the turn up is real. But can we talk uh, about, you know what you want to talk about. Well, I'll get there, Laura. Yeah. 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 Me. It's coming. So, so, um, <laughs> so um they go to Essence Festival and and um 
I hear the film's amazing. I'm, mm-hmm. I haven't heard anything mm-hmm. negative about it. It's done, right? Mm-hmm. It's in the can. It's done. Mm-hmm. Um, and you out here slanging that man Dingo, the Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> I don't know about that. You're the, man, you're the, you know, you whip out the Valerian steel, <laughs> slang the man oh Dingo. <laughs> Somebody get him, please. <laughs> So, you know, talk to us about your, See, your role in this film. I ain't film. say all that, man. We got me, me, um, that's my love interest in the film. And um, Is she lusty for you and you're in love with her? Like, what's the relationship? Are you in? Because she's an older <laughs> well, woman. Yeah, I was about to say, she's an older woman. And I'm she just young, wants I'm to, fly, she's you know Cougar Life. She's com. coming to have a good time that's at right. Essence. Yeah. She <laughs> runs into Malik at Essence. Of course, his name's Malik. And, you know what I'm saying? Of course. Frat boy Malik. <laughs> And things go down because it becomes like we all, you know, things go down. And so um, it takes place in New Orleans? <laughs> yes. And you're from New Orleans in the film? Yes. Well, I'm not. Uh, we no, don't go. No, no, I'm, I'm a you're frat just out boy. So I'm, yeah, Yo, you're just I'm out a frat there. boy. Therefore, I could just be at college. Kid, and, LSU, yeah, whatever. It wasn't go like wherever. a deep backstory. You know? Got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Is there a scene? A sex scene. Yes. There's a scene. I don't not a sex. You don't get to see nothing. Yeah, you know, right. So Jade ain't going oh, that far. Yeah. But you're going you're gonna to just see the movie. You gotta see the movie. <laughs> don't you just, don't want to spoil it. You, you just gotta see it. the movie. I promise it's gonna be. No, I'm hearing it's yeah. it's going. Women are gonna go see this in droves. Like, and it comes oh, wow. and it it's comes out in August, serious. right? I don't know when it comes out. I don't know if that's the date. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's what you heard. That's what I read. Damn, that's well, crazy. That's a minute. Kofi, man, it was a, it was amazing to talk to you today. Thank Congrats you. on all your success. If you haven't seen Queen Sugar, you you've seen it, yes? Scotty? Yes, absolutely. And it's you work thumbs up. It's amazing. All day. Thumbs up. Thank you. I will and watch Kicks it all the movie time. too. And we've all seen yeah. Kicks. Yeah, if you see haven't Kicks. seen Kicks, thumbs up. It's out on uh, DVD and Blu-ray. Oh, it's hard. It's, it's there. Soon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Wait, then, um, yes. We didn't ask about your love life. I think that's uh, what. You know. I, all I, 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 you're I'm like, like I don't really. I, 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 go ahead. I'm I mean, single. No. Ain't nothing. Ain't it's single. That's it. That's it. Because that's what all the women wanted me to ask you. Single on Twitter. They were like, "Yeah, is he single? And he is fine." Thank you. Yeah. That's what they wanted me to tell you. I just wanted to tell you what Twitter said. Not what I said. Not what I said. She lied. No, it's not. It's what Twitter said. said. Um, um, We ain't going to do this again, Sky. We're not going to do this again. Um, That's not what I said. I know that's not what you said. I'm not going to say what you said. All right. I kept it light. Okay, keep it light. Um, For the young ladies that are interested in young Kofi, um, how would they go about and what does Kofi look for? in a single woman? Like, what are the qualities? All right, don't give us a generic answer, okay? Uh, all right. I, like, I, feel like getting, I feel like it's easy to give us something rehearsed. Let's see. Well, yeah, there's nothing okay. to Let's rehearse. See. I was just going to... Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's it's different now, but, but, but it's always been the same for me where it's just like, I want genuine connection. I like a girl who um, has something going on for herself. She's passionate about something. Um, being in love isn't her 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 biggest job, you know. I feel like sometimes people hyper focus on the love. The love should just be the vehicle to all, you know, expression and like identity Man, he and all that like stuff. Vehicle. So <laughs> I feel like <laughs> anytime you use a word like a vehicle, <laughs> women love vehicles. <laughs> Nah, but I, I, I just, I just, yeah. I love, you say vehicle I love, and love. I love a girl who really, and if really. Love is in the vehicle. I love a girl who really knows herself, and if she doesn't, she's really, really down to work and find herself through life. You know, through oh, life. But man. she's open. You know, and and I feel like that goes back to the receptive thing. Like if you're open and you're not like caught up on on what your past mm-hmm. is or what you think you are or aren't. That leaves room for us to really be infinite. You know what I'm saying? So. Damn, he said infinite mm-hmm. vehicle, vehicle, love, mm-hmm. open. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kofi's out here driving. Facts. <laughs> Those are facts. <laughs> Kofi, it's a pleasure. Much Cheers, success man. to Thank you. you. Uh, how many of these jackets do you own? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, uh, you know, I'm building the collection. <laughs> Then that's just what kind of print is that? What is that? Like, it's like a cheetah print. It's like a, I don't know, a little cheetah, a little flare. Something. You know, it reminds me of those old black prints that used to be in every black household, the velvet print. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, 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 I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it up for Kofi right now. He brought <laughs> one. Nice meeting you, man. Cheers, man. Yeah.